is on Zoom. It don't matter if we're in Zoom, if we're in person, we're doing this shit right now. I always like to start off the show with a very simple question. You can take this however you want, answer it however you want, but um, Spider Cuz, who are you today? Mm. They get any who am I today? Who am I today? I'm Spider Cuz today. To the people, to the Real Relay fam, this is episode two, season three of the podcast. How you feeling? I heard we outside because Spider Cuz in the fucking building, though. Wow, wow. I already know you what already time it is, up. bro. He got the Henny on deck. Yo, talk that shit, Spider Cuz, right now. We out fucking side, man. It's the fucking Real Relay podcast, nigga. It's the fucking boy, Spider Cuz. We out fucking side. We got Henny on deck. Batman suck my dick. I'm outside 24-8. Not 24-7 no more. 24 I'm outside, nigga. I'm outside like stop signs and bums on the street. You outside, though, you feel me? So respect me. Who are you, bro? You know, I, I know you think about you think about all different Spider-Mans, bro. You the spider cuz. You the king of New York City, right? Got the crown and everything. You vibing? I'm the king today. I'm the king of New York, nigga. That's, how, that's who I am today, nigga. That's who Yo, I am every day. Give us a daily scoop. What you doing on a day-to-day basis? What the king of New York doing? Well, what the king of New York do, I do my side thing, then I do my spider cuz shit. So I'm a family man. You know what I'm saying? I take care of the family. You know what I'm saying? I go out, chill with the little one. I got a little one. You know what I'm saying? Got a little spider. You yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. Take care of her. Take care of the family. Take care of me. Health, wealth, and all that other good shit. You know, I do the normal shit. People that normal people do. But when I put this costume on, it's a different story. So okay. I'll be Peter Park. I go to the gym. You know, I work out. You know what I'm saying? I keep my body right. You feel what I'm saying? You see that? So yeah. Batman ain't got that. <laughs> Batman ain't got one of these. He's like, where you bought that from? Nigga, I ain't bought it. It's just real. <laughs> but, you know, um, I go to the gym. I work out. Um, I get my money. You feel me? And I also, like I said, I just I just do the normal shit that everybody else do. But when it comes down to, like, my business-wise as spider cuz, I take this shit fucking seriously. So I do this shit every day. Every yeah. day, bro. Every so I, day. I was uh, doing my doing my due diligence, obviously. And I think um I was watching, I think it was the Vice interview. And you were talking about, like, the whole business side of it. And I thought that part was really interesting. You were like, okay, I need to know your impressions, all these yeah. things that go on the social media. How did yes. you how did you start like getting deep into that business side of the social media? Like mm. walking through that process and what it looked like. Like, like what's Ooh. your like every 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 Peter Parker, every Spider-Man has an origin story. What's yes. what's, what's what's your origin story? I came from the hood, like you know what I'm saying? I came from doing jail time, selling drugs. You feel me? I came from an era where broken up homes, broken up families, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying mother wasn't mother was there, but the father wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I seen a lot. So as when I got locked up at a certain age and I came home at a certain age, it, it took me from a different, it took, it, it made me look at shit different. You know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, son, like you, you can't keep going to jail. So I didn't first start off doing this. I was working. I had like multiple jobs, bro. You heard like yes. child support killing me. I'm a real nigga. You feel me? Like this is like real shit. So when quarantine came for some odd reason, I don't know bro. quarantine came around and it actually like, when I bought this costume, and I and at first I was still working, I was like, fuck this shit. You know, this shit ain't going nowhere. You know, whatever. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere until I got my big break with a video that went viral. You know what I'm saying? Then I went with Side Talk, right? And then that's when I started getting deep into the impression thing. Because I see my followers going, you know, I got a bigger page. Yeah, so that's what I was going to ask you because... The account that I, I follow you right now is your only backup as a spider as spider because the only backup account you got. Yeah, I yeah. Your main, your, your, I'm assuming your main page got deleted. Is that that's it got like, disabled? It got disabled. And you, I've been seeing you trying to get it back still. I've been getting it back and then they've been taking it. I've been getting it back and then they've been taking it. So that's the big page that everybody know me from, right? Yeah. So when I see my following going crazy, I was like, I didn't really know too much about Instagram at that time. You feel me? I'm like. I go for I have PTSD, bro. Like, I have you're like, PTSD. What the, you're like you're like yo, what the fuck? I don't know what the f- you hear me? I'm like I don't know. I see all these people writing me, all these people sending me mad messages. I'm like, so what happened was I had I had this, and I started. I left the job. They fired me, and then I put some of the money that I was getting during um the unemployment. They was giving everybody unemployment, so I started buying suits. I'm like, fuck it, nigga. I'm like. You know, and then I started seeing, and then I started seeing a little bit of money from it. And I'm like, whoa, shit. And I started digging deep into the source, like, hold on, wait, yo, the impressions, the insights. That's how you get people to get the story promos, because they see that. 
You yeah. feel me? They see if they don't see your impressions going crazy, they're not gonna buy a promotion from you. Yeah, that's just it. So that's when I started getting deeper, like around like last year, November, December. I started watching my following, like going. I'm looking at my phone, I'm like, whoa, damn, damn. <laughs> every, I'm like that, yo, I swear to God, every uh, I got a thousand followers coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in, and I didn't know. And I at that particular time, I didn't know how to take that in. Because I'm from the hood. So I didn't know if niggas was looking for me. I didn't know if niggas was coming to get me out. I'm like, they want to get my costume? Like, what the fuck? I just, <laughs> Batman's about to pull up. Yo, Batman's Batman about to pull up, bro. Like a Batman pussy, nigga. Fuck that, nigga, Batman, nigga. We outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Waynes are coming for you, bro. The Waynes are coming for you. you Listen, the Waynes, them niggas is dead. You know what I could do for Tom Wayne and Martha Wayne? I could actually dig these niggas up and then, like, Piss on these niggas and then put them back in the grave. Cause like, I don't give a fuck about these Tom Wayne and these Martha Wayne niggas and Batman and Bruce Wayne. All these niggas could get in a dick. Like that's I started that <laughs> respect. Like who you know? Look, look, bro. Who you know that's running around saying Batman K, Martha Wayne suck my dick, DCK. I started that shit. These motherfuckers is walking around saying, "Yo, Spider Cause Batman suck my dick." I'm like, who? <laughs> back in the day, it's like. Look what you started. That's How the fuck did you get niggas to say Batman K, Batman DC suck my dick, all these other niggas? Because Yo, that's what I made it about, bro. Right? I, 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 I was saying, I was saying, like, should Marvel cut you a check, man? Because you kind of, you, you the real, you the real fucking spider cuz, bro. You know, in real life. Because it, and you think I, about it, you think about it too, man. I don't know if you've seen any of the Spider Man shows or anything like that. But there's a whole multiverse, bro. You part, you you want you one of those guys now. They need to. They gotta put me in the multiverse, bro. They gotta put Spider Cuz in the multiverse. You a version of Spider Man, bro. Come on, I and I be flying. I got the dead asses on. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know I got the dead asses on, bro. You yeah. know I keep them clean. You know I keep these bitches clean, son. They, they, and you outside giving too to the peoples, bro. I be seeing that, bro. I saw you give some food off around Thanksgiving time and shit. Yeah, like I, 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 I gave some pies off for of Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. I just like sometimes, like I be randomly thinking sometimes, like what could get people going? Like me handing out pies. I didn't have to go buy those pies from the store. I bought those just because that's what I want to do. And sometimes it feels good to give back without even looking at it. Like damn. It's a nigga out here that's actually helping out. Here you go. Take some pies. Do this. Do that. Because some people are less fortunate out here. Such as I was less fortunate at one time, too. I'm not wealthy. But, yeah. nigga, I'm, I'm able to get by. Yeah. So if I could give back, if I could give back, it's not a problem, man. I, I would love to keep giving back, man. That's like, that's like, that's my thing right there. I want to give back. I want to go walk around, go food shopping, take somebody food shopping. I want to go take somebody, go some clothes. I would love to do that. I know. And that's that's your friend, friend, friendly neighborhood spider cuz. I'm not really friendly. These motherfuckers know that shit. I hate these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they know that. I'm not really friendly. My name is Spider Cuz. They, 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 they call me the unfriendly neighborhood spider cuz. This nigga always drunk. He don't give a fuck. He just le let him be. He's good. The yeah, cops even see me. They be like, ah, he good. Yo, cuz. Go ahead, cuz. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I give a fuck. I give a fuck. I, I love the kids. I love the people. But when it comes down to people like trying to like, like come at me, I could give a fuck about that. That's what you, I mean when I sound good. You, you, you been getting any hate, man? Any hate? Oh, yeah, man. Listen, every day I wake up when I get on my live, when I go outside, when I go outside, it's all love. Yeah. But when I'm on like social media and the Twitter finger, thing, the Twitter finger niggas, they be all typing and shit. You know them niggas? Yeah. We get a lot of those. We get a lot of those. So, you know, I, 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 I one thing about me, when I go live and I get a lot of hate, I pin these niggas comment. I talk my shit. You've seen it before. I talk my shit. I don't yeah, yeah. fuck. I tell a nigga what it is. Spider has been on the real relay IG, bro. He's talked that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I talk like, my shit, bro. Because that's the reason why some of these niggas is here. They like, they like the fact that I'm able to relate to them. They like the fact that I'm able to add them on a the live or pin their comments. Sometimes that's all it takes to make somebody date. <laughs> you feel me? So niggas will say some hateful shit, but the only reason why they say that is because they want you to fucking respond, nigga, and I'm going to do it. <laughs> Yo, it'd be like it'd be like bullshit or good energy. It'd be like bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. You feel me? Like, come on, man. But they love me though, because if they didn't love me, they wouldn't be here, man. Come on, man. We outside though. You know, you know what's crazy, Spider Cuz, bro. I be we be talking about like certain types of people and shit like that on the podcast on the brand here, real relate, and we be like. 
I'd be like, we, this guy, this guy, this guy. My friend's like, he's from New York. And he goes, I don't know any of those people. I go, you go, you know this guy named Spider Cuz? He's like, I know exactly who that is. <laughs> and I'm like, that's crazy. So, yo, your branch and your reach is crazy, bro, New York, bro. You really, you really are out there, bro, for sure. God is good all the time, man. That's what I keep saying. You got to keep thanking God. Like, you got to keep thanking the people that supporting you. You got to, listen, you know what's so crazy is that I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I didn't think this was going to keep going. But one thing about me, though, right, is that I never give up. So I'm going to make it keep going. I ain't going to forcefully make it. I'm going to keep this shit going with originality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what people like about me. You from New York City? You tell a nigga to suck your dick? You don't give a fuck about Batman? You take a Hennessy? You got Tim's on? You know, fuck? This nigga's outside. <laughs> this is New York right here. Where the yeah. fuck is he at? Can somebody crown this nigga? Like, he's supposed to be the king. Look how he come outside with so much... With so much fucking respect. Like, this nigga wear this... Yo, bro, I wear this suit. Like, I'm going for a fucking a interview at the fucking White House, nigga. I wear this <laughs> shit. I put this motherfucker on, cuz. This shit, like, you know when Venom took over Spider-Man when he was in the movie? Yeah. This shit right yeah. here, cuz. That shit give you superpowers. <laughs> Yo, I mean, but no... But no... <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Yeah, he yo, he like that. He like Spider Man three, like when the Venom shit is getting up on him. And shit I thought, like that. yeah, remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yo, it was when, people, when he's like, oh shit, what the fuck? And like it's all Come over. On, him. Man, yeah, that's that shit started taking over a nigga yo, body. No, like, cap, no cap. We need a Spider Cuz movie, bro. Yo, I would love to do we a need Spider Cuz movie. movie, bro. We need people to actually start getting in tune. Like, you know what? I would love for New York City or anywhere. Like, if New York City was to start an Avengers, a Hood Avengers. A Hood Avengers? A Hood Avengers. A Hood Avengers. Like, yo, you could start the next the Marvel city. multiverse, bro. You get the you get all these Hood out. You get Hood. Yo, you got to get, you got to get Iron Cuz. You got to get, uh, get Thor Cuz. You got Cousin Hulk. Blood. You got Bad Blood. Yeah. We got, you, really got you, gotta up, up, you gotta set up the whole DC side of it too. Yeah, I gotta oh. set. I gotta set those niggas. Up. I gotta put them all in order, cause yeah, so you can fuck them up. So you can just beat the they, fucking. They, they gotta get <laughs> fucked up. Yo, you know what get me mad? Cause sometimes they don't want to get fucked up. I be like, my nigga, you have to get fucked up. Like Spider Cuz cannot lose. This is this is how it goes. It's like it's like the start of the show. It's like 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 nigga every the start every start of the show. Never dies. You never get beats up with some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm making a punch. Here you go. But like, everyone, I'm gonna win. That's it. So I do want to get the DC squad together because these niggas don't know how to dress. These niggas is bums. So I gotta put these niggas swag together. The yeah. Marvel side, we good. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? We if we could get all these niggas together and just start like a fucking that is so yo, bro. Right? That's the, imagine you on a train. You see niggas is hopping the train and start fighting. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You need a yo. You need to be like fucking Samuel Jackson, Nick Fury, and get these guys. This is Samuel Jackson. Shout out to Samuel Jackson, man. Especially <laughs> shout out to Samuel Jackson. Man, we need like a like a movie or like a fucking like a walk. Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. That would, uh, you gotta start. You, you gotta start tagging like Marvel and like Disney in your posts. Like, yo, yeah. I'm for the multiverse, bro. Put me in one of your movies. That's what I'm saying. Yo, you, you know, I think Marvel see me, my nigga. Like Cartoon Network. I had like the um the Looney Tunes. I had um I had Disney reach out to me, but not Disney per se. Somebody that worked for Disney. Yeah. They wanted they wanted to fly me out to do some shit they was having over there. I right. actually got hit up by Sony, but Sony only hit me up because I did like Chef G, um, Sleepy Hollow. I did D Love. I did a couple of shit for them niggas. So they. So I'm in tune with Sony too, but not like Sony Marvel. But I'm pretty sure that they all the guys. Yeah, well, so Sony owns Spider Man and like his character, but they collaborate with uh, Disney and Marvel to like make the movies and shit. So that would be lit. I want to see you in a fucking uh, cameo or something. And bro, hold on. Who who's Spider Man? Can you explain that to the to the to the crowd right all now? Right. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But like, you know, you you wonder why your account's getting disabled. I mean, I saw you post some wild shit with Spider Man. Can you can you explain that? Yo, was was that wild though? I mean, listen, we from Boston, my nigga, so it's a little different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Babe, so Spider Babe is 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 definitely a character that she came on board. She came on board. I had two of them. I had one. I had one Spider Mommy, but she's not here no more. All right. So we got Spider Babe. Spider Babe is definitely 
We don't date. No, we don't date. I keep business. I keep business separate from all that other shit. The video that we did in the streets was crazy. Was crazy because it was more like I didn't give a fuck. I just did the video on the motherfucking um the air mattress and 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 and, and it was like fuck it. We don't care. You know what I'm saying? So people looked at it was like that's nasty. That's this. But you know what? The internet is always gonna. It's always gonna um. It's always gonna judge you for stupid shit like that because they 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 don't they they couldn't do it. First of all, we in a whole costume, right? We in a whole costume humping, ding 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 ding, <laughs> and it, it wasn't no sexual shit involved. You feel me? It wasn't like I yeah. had my dick out, she had coochie out, we got crazy, blah blah. No, no. So Spider Babe is is is, is 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 the homie. Like that's the homie. Like that's the homie that I do content with. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely she's hit 11k. By the way, shout out to Spider Bitch hit eleven K. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely outside. She definitely got more work to do. Definitely got um more work to put in at that. And you know what I'm saying? But otherwise than that, we keep it cool, we keep it mutual, and we and we outside. All right. You that's know what I'm saying? So that's your spider baby. That's, yeah. that's your spider mom. Right? I wanna I wanna see more skits with you and you Spider Bay. You wanna see more skits with me and Spider Baby? Yeah, definitely, because that's 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 that, that's exactly that's exactly what we um We'll be working on right now. More skits with her. You gotta build the Spider Cuz timeline, the storyline, bro. What who who's in the Spider the Spider Cuz universe? You know what I mean? So I do want to create a different multiverse for different characters. So Spider Baby is one of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do want to get like a Green Goblin, a fucking um Sandman. You know, like, and I do also want to get like niggas that could dress like Uncle Ben, like different lookalikes for Uncle Ben and Aunt May, and like a lookalike crib or some shit like that. Bro, I swear to God, this shit go fucking bananas, my nigga. Like, like stupid. Like, but and, but you know what though? I do want, like I said, more skits with Spider Babe because sex does sell. I'm just trying to get. I, you know what I appreciate Spider Cuz, bro? He's the most honest nigga I know. He don't fucking vibes. Hello. Yo, how, how, how how many bottles of honey you go through in a week? That ass. Oh well, I want to say a week because these shit sometimes these shit it depends. If I'm outside, like two or three. Throughout the weekend, like with the weekend, the weekend, depending if I'm outside a lot. If I'm out of outside a lot, it depends. I'm like, you know what? I'm not drinking today, or I'm like, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just take a couple of shots and that's it. But otherwise than that, I, I'm gonna mix the fucking Hennessy with the fucking Casamigo. She Woo! I was like this. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> he, he gets put in a spider coma and he's done. <laughs> Yo, no. You know it's the worst too when people be telling you like how you act the next day. They be like, they be like, you ain't no remember. You don't remember what happened. I be like, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> so when people be like, well, how many bottles you run through a day? I, I honestly, I honestly could say like three throughout the week, week and a weekend. You have an infinite supply of penny. I mean, it's just it's yeah. Like, I, I, Henny got a sponsor, you bro. Timberland hit me up. Timberland hit you up. Hey. What they what they said, what they offer you. I mean, we spoke on the phone. I ain't gonna talk too much about it, but you know, we supposed to have went to the showroom. He supposed to have sent me a couple of pair Tim's over. We're gonna keep the fingers crossed. We spoke to Timberland though. Timberland said how they, they really appreciate me from wearing a product. It's that business, it takes time. It takes time. It does take time. It does take time. But it definitely out. takes time. I would love to see some spider Tims though. Like a, a oh, yeah. Tim with, with some Spider-Man design on it. That'd be lit. It says Bat Batman suck my dick on the side of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah the graffiti on these shit for Batman suck my dick. And then Spider Cuz the kick some crazy shit. I don't fucking know. That would be like <laughs> Spider Cuz when you go to the bodega, what's the first thing that you get? The first thing I get is some grabo. Cause you know I got some grabber and some Bob Marley. It depends. If it's, if it's in the morning, I'm getting a bacon, egg, and cheese. No pork though. It gotta be turkey bacon on a motherfucking bagel. You feel me? Now if it's fucking dinner time or some shit like that, I'm getting a chopped cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and, and a motherfucking ginger ale on the side of something. You feel me? Sometimes I might go in the deli to chill, my nigga. I might just go in. There. I fuck with the deli sometimes. I go in there and chill with the ox and all that fucking talk shit. Only when I go to the deli. Chopped cheese is on my mind, you heard. I need a fucking chopped cheese, you heard. You ain't make you make you ain't you're not making any Rasta pasta. Oh yo, yo, listen, Rasta, yo, I, I really want to start this cooking show shit, bro. I saw the video, so I saw the video. That shit was lit. Right. Yeah, I wanna I was on Cinematic TV. I don't know if you're familiar with them guys. Yo, yeah, yo, they were clown, they were clowning you for a second in the comments, but then you saved it because in the beginning they were like, This nigga don't know how to cook. And then at the end, I was like, yo, the shit kind of came out kind of fire. <laughs> the shit like, came out, yo, yo. 
the shit was slapped. And I didn't even get to eat it because I had my costume on. You know, I can't eat with the costume on. Um, when he tasted the rasta pasta, I could really actually cook though. I told you I used to work in a couple of um, you know, I was I was doing a little couple of restaurant things and shit like that. So that's why I got that cooking nobility from. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got that shit from. So that rasta pasta shit. I should be busting. Nobody could cook better than me, respectfully. Nobody could. I would love to see Spider Cuz in a bodega making like a chopped cheese or a bacon, egg, and cheese in the back. Put that on the list. We're going to put that on the motherfucking list. We're Bro, imagine like doing your cooking show in the bodega in the back. You're like, all right, we're doing a fucking queso frito, salami, and a mango today. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I really want to start a podcast cooking show. Really? I'd watch that shit. That would be lit. I'd watch that shit. So, so basically, you come up there, you get an interview, but you're also getting your hands dirty. You're also cooking. You're also, you're also, um, you know, we drinking Hennessy. We got a big butt girl bringing out the bottle with Hennessy. Boom. You know what I'm saying? We got different artists coming up there. We got video game. The, the business that I have for this podcast is like, it's, 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 go- it's going to be crazy because like, you cooking and you're getting interviewed and you're getting drunk. Your so, first interview got to be Spider Bay. Yes, the first interview got to be Spider Babe. Yes, the first interview got to be Spider Babe. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be up there shaking a little ass, throwing a little cash. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, actually, you know what You know what the fuck? All right. Not for nine, Spider Cuz. No such shit. Oh, uh, shit. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, hold no, 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 no. <laughs> you, you about to violate? You about to violate, say? bro. Oh, okay. Let me hit a violation. Let me hit a violation. All right. I'm cool with it. I, I want to see... You started OnlyFans with you and Spider Bay. I'm gonna subscribe to that shit. <laughs> yo, you know how many people ask me that shit? It's like, yo, bro, you and Spider Bay, or you just do, do like our OnlyFans. But we was gonna do our OnlyFans and fake cap off of that and be like, we doing the dang thing. And then the niggas get to subscribe it and we's up there playing Patty Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you thought. Balls deep. Do you want to see in Spider Cause balls deep in Spider Bay, coach? This nigga is about to be down. shooting out the webs out of his dick, like <laughs> with the towel like this. <laughs> that be y'all see niggas laughing on y'all show? Man, I gotta actually come up to the show, bro. For sure, that ass, bro. I was gonna say, like, I, 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 I would, I was trying to get you here in person because we got like a studio and everything. We do this shit for real in the studio in Boston, nigga. I fucking see the shit. It's dope in there, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're part of Real Relay fan forever now. We're going to always support Nigga, I want to come up there and get my shine on, too. Nigga, I want to... Th- that, that would be lit, bro. We get spider cuz in the North End in Boston eating a fucking cannoli from Mike's Pastries, bro. That shit would be... Oh, fun. that's fucking fire. But the thing is, spider cuz I don't know if people around here, how they will react to someone like you. Yeah, because- I, don't, I don't know how they... You know, sometimes people in different scared. places. Yeah, they be scared low-key because, like, I feel like... You're, I feel like who you are and thinking about New York, it fits so well and, and like it just works so well together. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, it. yeah. People in Boston, bro, they ain't be better than by like 10 o'clock, bro. They ain't like, outside oh, like you, bro. They're not outside. <laughs> they don't they don't drink Henny like you, bro. It's, bro it's oh, a, man, they got to get a tool. Man. They got to get a fucking tool, man. Bro, like this low, this low key Batman territory, bro. Low key. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? When we see that nigga Batman, bro, like respectfully, bro, like we gotta do something. Like if that's bad, because Batman actually like places like in Boston. He gotta be in bed at ten o'clock. That's his speed. That's Batman's speed. He not like that. So that's why he will probably move to Boston. Shout out to Boston though, in a, in 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 a nice quiet area. But when he comes to New York, nigga, this Spider Club City. I that's run this shit. I got the crown on. Batman, looking at me, you pussy, nigga. <laughs> If you ever want to come over here in Boston and shoot the shit, for sure we got you, bro. We'll talk, we'll talk, we'll blah, we'll get you here, we'll figure it out. I think your energy would be lit in the studio. However, though, I'm moving to Miami so soon. So if you ever want to go to, you want to do Spider Cuz in Miami too, we could. Bro, do- that would be oh, yeah, crazy. Yo, Miami, I want to get to Miami. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A move, I want to get to Miami. Miami respectfully. I'm moving to Miami in like three months. So if you ever need a spot to chill at or ever want to go in three months, you're gonna be outside. I, listen, I'm trying to see all these Miami bitches with the BBLs throwing it back on Spider Cuz, no. bro. No, I think, I think, I think, I think Miami would do good though, cause I, I did a, um, I did like a con, I did, I did like a, 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 a whole, the whole state. I'm like, yo, where should I go next? And everybody was saying Miami, LA, Miami, LA, Miami or LA. So it's been like heavy on Miami and heavy in LA. It's been like a kind of thing. So now I know that both of these cities really want me, but you can't just. I go front. I want to go to LA, but LA is kind of crazy. Okay. 
kind of crazy. I was gonna say it's because you got music too. Yes, I got music. I got I got music. I just actually dropped a new video. This I dropped a new video in January. So if people didn't catch you, you can find my YouTube. You could Google it. Like all you gotta do is Google Spider Cuz name, and it's gonna fucking pop the fuck up. Cause like I actually claim my Google panel too. I claim that Google panel. You know what I'm saying? So we had to claim that. So motherfuckers won't get up here trying to claim my shit. So everything you see when you go on my fucking YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok. Ho hopefully, I'm, I'm like, yo, fucking with your music as well, too. I'm glad you're fucking killing it. I'm glad you're finding, like, different avenues and keeping it spicy and keeping it fucking, like, you keep the energy yeah. going. You're creative. You know what I mean? You're one of the most popping creatives in today's age, period. You know what I mean? That's a fact. I appreciate and, that shit. And you always trying to re kind of create like new shit. That's what I appreciate about you. Not only are you super positive and you're super empathetic and like you lead with that type of energy, but you also try to put out great fucking content and diverse content for all different types of ages and groups. You don't care yes. if they like fucking like, you know, you got your audience for the kids that like Spider-Man and shit like that, but they got the spider cut shit. And then you got people that are from New York. You got all different types of people. And you try to hit every demographic. And you're just a cool every ass dude, man. You're a cool ass fucking dude. And I'll say this too. That whole side talk you shit you did at NYC. Like that shit is crazy, bro. Talk to us a little bit about that and how you met Shout up. Shout to Side Talk. Shout out to Side Talk. Shout to Side Talk. Those are my guys. These are two kids that, you know, they from NYU. And they they discovered me. They well, they didn't discover me, I discovered myself. But they like basically discovered me for their platform. Like, yo, who is this guy? Like, you know, we like him to be on our platform. So I met up with these guys during the pandemic and we created some crazy episodes. Like, 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 like crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I think I got like five or six episodes on there, like the most episodes. Mm -hmm. And all them shits went viral, especially the one when I was on the side of the Jeep screaming that pop smoke song. Show to your little baddie. Hey, so that went viral. That went viral. Then multiple other videos went viral. So side talk and spider cuz connection is like a dynamic duo. Like we did the next game, December, the Christmas game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't put it up because they said they side talk said they sent them a, a deceased and deceased, some shit like that. Yeah, system assist, whatever that shit is. But we was gonna go viral again. Yeah. I've seen you guys have the like the individual like spider cuts videos and then you have the compilation and then yeah. you guys were on like a newspaper or something too as well. Yeah, I was I was in the um I was in speaking of this right here on the top right here. You can't it was on the day was building. Building. <sighs> Yeah, so he was in New York magazine. You feel me like respectfully. No sleep till side talk. Wait, is that actually you like upside down like that? Huh? Is that actually you upside down like that? Yes, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, man. that's lit. Come Hell on, yeah, man. That's me. Hell yeah. That's, that's me up there, man. Shout out to New York Magazine. Fucking love you guys. They was amazing to me. They was very sweetest, the sweetest person. The people that they got for their they business wise is dope. Like Vice too. Shout out to Vice too. Shout out to Vice. Shout out to um, I was on 60 Second Documentary. I was on Vice. I was on New York Magazine. I was in Complex. I was in um 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 Vogue magazine in Thailand. I was in um I got a couple articles that I did, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you know, we did. That, that shit is crazy. I think, bro, I think specifically with you, Spider, because it's like you you hit so many people during a time where they needed it the most. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Like, I think, I think even even with side talking with you and with all and complex and all these guys, like the people you work with, like it's crazy because a lot of people were going through shit in the back end. You know what I mean? Yep. A lot of people yep. were stuck inside. They couldn't, you know, they got shit going on in their lives. And, you know, some of them are going through some tough shit. And you gave them an outlet of positivity to, like, look forward to and, like, hope. You know what I mean? And, like, where they couldn't yep. be outside, you could be. You know what I mean? And, like, and you, brought, watching it. you brought a, a smile to a lot of these people's faces and shit like that. So, fuck Instagram for not giving you the fucking account back. And fuck TikTok. Because it's all run fuck by it. the Wayne Enterprise, bro. For real, bro. Like, why didn't they get my page back yet? The that Instagram, if you're watching this right now, why the fuck they didn't get my page back yet, bro? That ass. You deserve it, bro. 142K followers. It's not a lot. Oh, 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 oh. but it's a lot to me. That's, I mean, bro, that's a lot. Man, come on, man. Be you, know proud. Who I got, you know who I got following me? Who? 
Takashi baby mother. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, when I say I'm the king of New York, it's more like, I'm the king of New York for my multiverse. My verse. Bro, my you, universe. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I've been talking about. The newest Spider-Man movie out right now, this is the sixth biggest movie ever to fucking hit theaters ever, bro. And it that explains... Movie. the. All the different fucking versions of Spider Man, the the Miles Morales one, the Tokyo yeah. Fire one, all of them. They should have had you in that shit, bro. Why the fuck they didn't have me in there? Marvel sees everything. They see it. They not dumb. Yeah. Sony see it. So I'm pretty much sure niggas that is affiliated with Marvel know about Spider Cause. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So next time, you never know. Hands crossed. They might put me in a motherfucking cameo or something, or put me in a motherfucking movie or something. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's just it's just amazing. And, and, and I went to Rolling Loud. Rolling Loud was crazy. Oh, you went to Rolling Loud in New York? They paid me, nigga. Hell yeah. Well, I went to Rolling Loud when they did the first Rolling Loud in New York, and that shit was fucking bananas, bro. Fucking crazy. Damn, that's crazy. This so one was crazy. It was crazy? Who's your favorite? I got, I got, favorite? I, I got booked by 300 Entertainment. You know these guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they booked me. They booked me. Yeah, they booked me. They was like, yo, son, we want to get you to Rolling Loud. We got a haunted house there. You'll be dope to be there. You know, boom, boom. They booked me. Paid me for three days in there for free. I'm like this. Hey, man. First they wanted me to show my face when I first went there. They was like, we don't know who you are. You got to show your face. I cursed them niggas the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I was mad drunk, too. But look, you know what I did the second time I went? What? I wrote them. They was kind of mad at me. They was like, yo, you know. You know, like I know that she was very upset about the um, you know, about the um let me just want you to show your face and all that. But I'm like, they was like, we're gonna sit, I'm um we're gonna sit down with the team and basically talk to them and see if we still want you to come on board. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's about to be over. So what I did was I went, but I went incognito though. So I went they still pay you? Yeah, they still pay me, hell yeah. So look, I went, I went, I had the mask off. I had the costume on, but I had my hands in my pocket. Got my mask on, my, my, my COVID mask over my face. Go on that bitch. I'm like, yo, I'm here. So I went, went to the bathroom, changed my to my mask. We was outside. Damn. Damn, you really did that. Damn. Hell fucking yeah, I need that because money. If you if you know, man, you know how it is with Spider-Man, you're not supposed to reveal your fucking identity, bro. That's not, the fucking not. point. You know what I mean? That's the whole point of Spider-Man. Nobody can top Spider-Man costume. I'm, I'm gonna be real. This is like one of the best creations from 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 Marvel. Like one of these this well, costume right here, bro. Like I was gonna say, Spider Spider-Man is the is the is the highest selling um like superhero ever, at least for Marvel. At least he yeah. is the highest paying like superhero for Marvel. Period. You know what I mean? And that's probably why they be on my ass a lot. That's why they keep disabling my account. They're like, nigga, this Spider-Man, nigga. Yeah, well, because that and that and then the movie and then the whole side talk shit is like, yo, like everyone's seen because the Marvel movies coming out, the whole mm -hmm. side talk shit popped off. And that's like, that's crazy. And now you're doing your own content and all your own streams and shit like that. So it's like, bro, your exposure is going crazy. I mean, look at us from Boston and finding you. You know what I mean? That's and, fucking dope. That's dope. And I'd be seeing your Let's lives. Go. I'd be seeing your lives and shit like that. And you've got people in Miami, you got people all over talking about all over. All low, bro. like I just said, like keep going with that shit, bro. Like if it if that's what, if that makes you happy and you enjoy this shit, makes you yo. This shit, like I ain't gonna lie to you, like I ain't gonna front, like it's 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 been time with people, like yo, bro, you can't be spider cuz every day, my nigga. Be regular, my nigga. Come on, be regular, my nigga. Come on, I miss my old nigga. Come on, son. Come on, nigga. Come <laughs> on. So it's like I'll be like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, son. I want to do some content. They like, come on every day. Every day, my nigga. So it's like, bro, the bread don't I, stop. The bread, the bread does, don't stop, my nigga. The stop, bread does bro. not stop, my nigga. The bread stop, does bro. not stop. Doesn't stop. You know what I mean? So what? What can we? We'll, we'll have a couple last questions here, and like, mm -hmm. what? What are some future things we can expect from Spider Cuz? What's coming out soon that you're most excited for? That you can let the us cooking see? channel, cooking channel. You hunt. You a hundred pen. This thing. You hundred percent on that shit. I'm going crazy on it. All I need. Oh, well, yo, when this show drops, when this podcast slash cooking show drops, it's going to be, it's going to start from the bottom, you know, it's going to start from the bottom, but then it's going to grow.
Because the people gonna be like, yo, I love to cook and talk shit. <laughs> and you can be you. Yeah. So I want that to happen. Um, without but fight for now, like thinking not small, but somewhere in the middle, mm-hmm. I want to get a couple of episodes done, right? Mm-hmm. Like, 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 like the cooking channel episodes, and see how it would look professional wise, and mm-hmm. see who I could pitch it to. Mm-hmm. It's all about selling mm-hmm. product and environment. You know what I'm saying? You got you to be product and environment. So if I'm selling, if I'm pitching to somebody, and they be like, yo, now nah, we can actually buy this, you can use this shit. Timberland, I do a, I do a fake vid, you know, a video for Timberland, a cameo, whatever, sell it to them. See if they want to buy it. Mm-hmm. If they buy it, they're going to catch it. So that's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for my fucking cooking show because I love to cook, my nigga. I love to cook, my nigga. I love to cook, bro. Damn. I love yo, I love it. That's my pet. Pa- that's what that's like. That, 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 that's like money and food is like second passion. Then, then it comes to the sex thing because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you putting sex first. Man, you can't be broke. And having sex. This is weird. Like, how you broke and having sex? Like, how you broke? And you want to have... Like, what are you, what are you, like, what are you celebrating? Yo, so that's yo, how I look at it. Yo, you tell, know what I'm saying? Tell them. Speak that financial freedom you to these cannot, motherfuckers. Yo, people you want to have... They need to be broke. Like, you got to look... You got to get your... You got to get your money up, not your funny up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to really... You got to really... You got to really get to it. Like, yeah, you got your... Yeah, you got your... Yo, whoever you dealing with. But when it comes to that bag... Don't let nobody stop you. You got to get it. Like going to work. You're doing two jobs. She's like, oh, you always out. I got to get to the money. That's it. The money doesn't stop. Do these bills stop? Do the, st- do the sun stop shining when in the morning? Do the moon stop going in the night? Oh. Yo, you, you, know what, you, know, you know what did stop? You know what did stop, though? That, What's that? That, that? that Martha Wayne, bro, that heartbeat stop. You know what I mean? She's like, oh, this guy shot. The fuck? Ain't you know what else stop? The unemployment for these bum ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna fuck. That's what stop. Talk that shit. Talk that shit. These niggas is mad because they unemployment cut off. Don't get mad at me. I ain't Donald Trump, nigga. Fuck is you yeah. mad at me for? Cause your shit stop. Niggas getting mad at me. Any yo, I ain't gonna fuck. Everything that shit stop. The whole world been in shambles. It's crazy. Everybody have their attitude now. Attitudes is crazy. Damn. Like, it, and people hitting you up that never hit you up before. They see that owe you money still. Hold up, wait. Don't you still owe me ten dollars, my nigga? And you didn't give it to me. You wanna ask me for money, nigga? So you know what I'm saying, bro. So the unemployment that's what cut off too. Martha Wayne heartbeat and unemployment cut off. Rest in peace. Okay. <laughs> yo, you speaking? Yo, he not he not lying. I mean, he hasn't not lied. Lying. He hasn't lied uh, not a single time. There's so, no cap in his rap. No y- y'all, don't, y'all, y- y'all don't see the difference in niggas when the unemployment cut off? I do, feel, I do feel you, though. I did get a text the other day being like, hey, yo, you, you know, I, I think you might owe me $10 for that one <laughs> Chick- Chick-fil-A sandwich I bought you back in 2009. And I'm like, bro, what? Oh, you got, hold on, bring it up shit. <laughs> I was like, bro, what the fuck are you saying right now? It's like, yo, you crazy. Are you shitting me right now? Like, you <laughs> you know? With the balls that ask me for money? I go, let like, me let, let me forward you to my manager real quick. I sent him your page. <laughs> I, I sent him your page. I was like, yo, go go watch this guy real quick. Oh um, yo, listen, bro. Listen, bro. Like, I really appreciate that shit, man. I really, you know what? I really, I really appreciate the fucking love from everybody. Cause like when I was on Vice, I cried. I cried on Vice. I saw that. Yeah, I cried, I cried on Vice. I cried on it and 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 and, and it wasn't, it wasn't like no fake ass tears. I couldn't, yo, I couldn't, you know why I cried? Because it was, it was, it was, I still can't believe it sometimes. Like when I go viral on my own, like I went viral for that air mattress. Bro, I got fucking, bro, literally, bro. Look, literally, bro. Respectfully, bro. Like, bro, ain't no way in hell a nigga is getting all this amount of fucking shares, bro. Bro, we had to let look, look, look. 32,000. Everybody hating on me, but they like, but I still share my shit. So, <laughs> so it's like thirty two thousand, my nigga. You you know what I was saying to Spider Cuz? You know we we about to come up on an hour right here, and you gotta promise you one thing, my dude. You I got gotta, you. You gotta promise. At the end of the day, 
we appreciate you coming up here and doing this inter- and just talking. Honestly, it wasn't even an interview, man. Honestly, it was a sit down and shoot the shit. You know what I, I mean? I fucking love it. I love this shit. And, like, <laughs> and, and I, I know we were like mad, like official sending you shit and looking like a yes. Fucking, look, I mean, that's how you. That's how business is. You got to. That's how businesses go. I respect you know that. I, mean? I respect like, that. You know, we come, to, we come, you know, get, get gal in a henny, you know, do what you got to do. You know what I mean? You outside. You outside. <laughs> but, but like, I just, on the couch, we outside. You know, you got here. Dead asses on. You got the dead asses on, you got the crown on. You don't give a fuck. And like, I love that energy, bro. And like that shit speaks to me and it speaks to a lot of people. So all you got to promise me, man, is that moving forward, you find a way to like, don't just be like a in the moment type of shit. Think about how you can like, expand that shit for years and years to come you know that generational wealth you know what i mean and like yes. you already on that because you're like oh fuck unemployment <laughs> fuck all this bullshit so like all you gotta do is like see the 32k now but i want to see the 50k the 100k i want to see you at a mill you know what yes. i mean yes like, yes at least everyone here at real relate and brandon myself we will always support you and we represent like the everyday common folk watching you behind the scenes. I guess my, my, my last question is what would you, what last piece of advice would you give the creators everywhere? You know what I mean? Like something mm. positive or it can be negative too. I don't give a fuck what you want to say, mm. but like, okay. what would you say to people that are young, old, that are trying to come out of their shells and come out of this quarantine and try to be like, trying to put out content and be proactive about their life. What, you, what would you say? <laughs> uh, I would tell I, what I would tell all content creators to never give up, to, 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 to never give up and to stop reading the comments. Stop reading the comments. Stop reading them. You don't need to read them. You know why? Because the comments will deteriorate you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie to you. Yesterday was about to be, I was to delete that video yesterday. I got so much hate. I got inboxes talking about, oh, I'm having people block you. I'm reporting this. I'm reporting that. Like, hate messages, bro. I lost followers behind that. So what I mean to all content creators, never give up. Do not read the comments. And do not ever, ever give a fuck about what nobody think about you. That's it. Some three things you're going to fucking win, bro. But the main one is to never, ever give a fuck about what nobody thinks about you. If you want to go out there and create content, go create content. If you want to go out there and put on a costume, you put on the fucking costume. If you want to go out there and say, fuck you and fuck you and fuck you, then go out there and do it. <laughs> Don't fucking ever let nobody tell you what to do because if you listen to them niggas, where them niggas at right now? They at the fucking same spot they told you. Like, come on, bro. Like, they still grab those unemployment. They still grab those unemployment checks. They still mad at their job. They still fucking life sucks ass, bro. Yo, they are miserable. Mm-hmm. Like the fact that it was like, somebody gonna tell me, yo, bro, you look mad dumb in the costume. It's a grown ass man. He said you're not a real nigga, right? That's what he said. He said you're not a real nigga. You know me. I'm good at fucking switching shit up, curling it up, boiling it up, throwing it in the garbage, it up, stomp on it, click it to the side, and give it right back to you. So he said, you're not a real nigga, you must not know who behind this costume. But let me tell you something real fast. What is the definition of a fucking real nigga? I mean, hey, you tell, you tell us. I, I'm a little boy. I have no idea. I'm a little, I'm a little boy, a real I mean, that's nigga. All, that's all. I was asking him. And he going to tell me, oh, I ain't got to answer that. Shut the fuck up. You know what we going to probably say? Oh, niggas that carry guns. They, 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 they scam. They got a lot of money to their ears. They, 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 they wear designer shit. Those the real niggas. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. I don't got to be a real nigga. What? How am I not a real nigga? I wear a costume? So I have to put that nigga in his place. You do not know the definition of being a real nigga. Because you're not a real nigga. And until you become a real nigga, you will never understand how to become a real nigga because you're not a real nigga. You know, you know what a real nigga is, Spider Cuz? Talk to me, cuz. A real, a real nigga is a nigga who puts on for his family. There you go. A real, a real nigga is who takes their mom out the hood and puts their mom in a the house. There you go. I mean, a real, a real nigga, a real nigga creates a brand. You know, a real, a real nigga creates generational wealth and bread and a streamline for passive income for their family. Yes. A real, a yes. real nigga don't go to jail and leave his kids at home. You know, miserable. What I mean? That and, and and that that's why I really respect about you because you came from those humble beginnings and you understand, you know what I, I mean? understand that shit, bro. And, and you're like, yo, bro, I gotta go give out 
fucking 30 posters and like go get get these sent out. I gotta go, I gotta go respond to these DMs. I gotta go and hop on an interview. Because yep. you know, the more you do now, the less work you have to do later where you can be in your spider cuz fit. And be on Turks and Caicos on the island, bro. And be chilling with you. Come on, family. man. Come on, man. Talk your shit, cuz. You talk you know, your shit right now. You know Everything you're saying right now. Yo, bro, I, I got a whole shopping cart. I can have anybody do that shit. Mm-hmm. But I want to do it. I want to go out there. I got my team helping me out. Yo, you know, I, yo, that shit took two hours to do in the crib, bro. And we did it. All them boxes and posters, make sure all the orders are together. Make sure this, that, and the third. Bro. We didn't, we don't, we don't got no big ass office, office and shit where we got people running around doing shit. We do this shit in-house. Mm-hmm. And that's how you get all of us issue, bro. I didn't think my posters were gonna sell like that. We got more posters selling. We got merch. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one. I appreciate that shit, nigga. Yeah. I yeah. really do, bro. The poster really is fine. Do. The poster is and fine. And I'm coming on the motherfucking podcast. Pause. Hey, yo, I'm coming hey, up to the yo. podcast. Hey, hey yo. Yo, take him, hey. take him out to my pastries first. Yo, wait, wait. Hey, yo. <laughs> take him to my pastries first. Damn. Yo, yo take him out to dinner first, first spider cut. <laughs> yo. Pause. Oh, yo, Tom, I'll back on the play. I said, yeah. I'm coming up to the. Let me okay. shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, and you know, and you know, at the end of the day, too, Spider, because you ain't a real nigga, because you ain't on the real relay podcast. That's a fact. That's a fact. If you're not on the real, real related podcast, you're not a real nigga, nigga. You heard what I said. If you're not on the real related podcast, you are not a real nigga. Big you facts. live in the shelter. Big facts, bro. You've been, you're you not on here. Okay, what are you doing? If you're not on the fucking related podcast, what the fuck is you doing? Get your life together, you heard? I gotta do a drop for y'all. I like that. That's a good drop. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it, yo, yo, what's up, man? That's take that's your bitch, it. and I'm gonna take your bitch, baby. <laughs> hopefully, one day when our shit gets bigger, because we mass small, and hopefully, it's all good. We're gonna get that shit going crazy. You know, once we all work, and maybe there's a time where you can come out to Boston or up to Miami, and we'll fucking get you in a studio, and we'll fucking do it. We'll shoot the shit whenever. And we'll get out. The podcast is gonna be in Miami too. Or it's gonna be in Boston. No, I'm gonna. Well, I'm taking it to Miami, so I'm gonna take oh, it. Oh wow, me. that's dope. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it'll be just me. Brent, Brandon will be more like background operations and shit like that. Got you, got you. So okay, like, okay, okay, LB, okay. me, we'll be out there, and we'll be. I mean, we got the guys part of the team still, and um, yeah, man. I definitely put the Miami on that podcast too. Man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully, crazy. hopefully one day we can get you on the studio, whether it's in Boston, Miami. But I appreciate it, my man. This was episode two of the Real Relay podcast. You know the fucking vibes. We got Spider Cut in the building. I'm gonna drop yeah, your side, you heard? I'm Real gonna Relay. drop all your ads and everything down down in the description box below. Yo, give us like a um, give us like a little outro real quick. Hey, listen, it's the Real Relay podcast. Check us out on Apple. Spotify, YouTube, you know, Spider Cuz got a little special message for the group. Spider Cuz, say what's up. Hey, yo, you already know what the fuck it is, man. It's your fucking boy, Spider Cuz. Yo, if you're not on real related podcast, nigga, I'm gonna smack this shit out of you and your moms, nigga. Make sure y'all niggas tune in fucking to my guys, nigga. If you're not on a real related podcast, what the fuck is you doing, nigga? Get your life together, get your yeah. mind together, and also. Yeah, niggas done. Get this dick out your mouth, nigga. Wow, wow, we outside, nigga. Real lady podcast. It's your boy Spider Cuz, and we gotta go. Fuck is you mad for? I'm all in my bag, boy. Fuck is you mad for? Get in your bag, boy. Fuck is you mad for? I'm getting this cash, boy. That niggas is mad, boy. That niggas is mad, boy. Fuck is you mad for? I'm all in my bag, boy. Fuck is you mad for? Get in your bag, boy. You mad for? I'm getting this cash, boy. That niggas is mad, boy. That niggas is mad, boy.